Thank you, new subscribers, for subscribing. There's 23, and I am not doing anything that I should be doing. You know, I can talk about astrology. I'm an astrologer, and <laughs> for one, it's not an amusement park ride. For two, there is a lot of mix-up about mainstream astrology and what's right and what's wrong. And all I know is that you can go out and look in the sky at the constellations. And if there's a conjunction between Saturn and um, Jupiter in a, in, a, in a certain constellation, you can, you can point at it and say, there it is right there. So... I don't really know about the where they say it's like, no, it's actually a sign before. Or something like, no, go outside and look at what time it is. You can't say that the sun is coming up at a certain, um, in a certain constellation at a certain time of year when it's really not. There is a physical life that this science has, and this is the only real science that we have, that you can look and it is just at there. It's the weirdest thing. The sun comes up at a certain time to a minute, to the second, a certain time every day. And it it recedes every minute. Everybody kind of knows that and it causes the expanding days and nights. You know, I'm not a rocket scientist, but um, I'm a musician. And so I can understand measurements and intervals and and how um, things can naturally work like a spool and you have natural timing and stuff. And it's like, okay, yeah. And it is circular. It, I don't know about the, the, like, you know, the shapes of the planets exactly. And you don't know either. But music, I call, is circular. It is, it is round. There's, there's things called rounds. You would know a good song unless it rounded again. Um, you know musicians are doing this thing of audiographic memory where you're just going to it's very complex actually so um, thanks for joining me here it's minute 22 22 and it's a lot of things that i entertain as far as um i think that's important to carry an interesting conversation you know i'm that kind of narcissist <laughs> many types of different narcissists there's some narcissist that knows what narcissists are. And there's other ones that are terrible. They don't know a fucking thing. You know what I mean? So anyway, no, I'm terrible. God. No. Yes. I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> you know, anyway, you guys, you know, let, let the TV be TV and let people be something that you just punch because you don't know what they are. <laughs> They're the same thing as TVs. Kind of like, I mean, if you want to get into false information fields, and how your mind is making it up and how the, the people, people, people do not exist. Okay. I mean, people, there are physical human apertures and we are capable of some amazing things. Yes. But people, what, you know, what you think I am, why it is you subscribe and why, why I have 23 subscribers that don't like any of my videos. Um, it's just because you're not watching. I understand. You know, I didn't watch YouTube for a long time. I um, shouldn't be doing any of this. But there is actually some reason that we should be doing this. Um, it shouldn't be that we stay isolated. Here I am on Star Trek. I, there's, there's the um, thing, my controller. <laughs> there's a picture of my controller. And there's part of the world that I am trying to save. It's just a, a tree and a bird hard fucking life that I'm living here, but I'm trying, you know, trying not to um, be part of the reason why it turns into Mars, which I like Mars. I'm Mars ruled. Getting back to astrology, how that, um, I tried to warn people. I mean, I was cruising along just great. And I'm like, uh-oh, Pluto, Pluto is going to square my Mercury Uranus conjunction. You know, I like being mad with my Mercury Uranus conjunction anyway. It's been a long time. And I'm sure I've progressed into Scorpio now, but that thing has lingered a long time, and and I've done a lot with it. I'm I'm just um been, I know my mind now is just fried by the truth, baby. It's just no more, no more mind. <laughs> it's just given away to God. It's like that that light over there is just gonna um fry it away and and, and rewire it with 
something that I don't even know. But I'm well loved. I haven't been um, present to people in real life, and neither have you. If it, if you've been around on the globe for um, the past two years or so, and you are forced to wear a mask, and you think that you should wear a mask. Pardon me. I don't want to disturb the queen. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we will, we're fine. But that's my spaceship and she usually she's ridden on that for 14 years. Anyway, we are cruising. Getting back to astrology. How oh my god, I, pardon me. Um should be playing music and I'm glad I have one more subscriber. Maybe we'll play music, huh? <laughs> I have a feeling all of you love me. Not. You like watching a mad person and you think I'm going to fucking just lose it and says, actually, I just got a profound insight just today. And all it is is just because, um, you know, you don't really control your life. And I know a lot of you narcissists are like, oh, my God, now here we go. <gasps> Listen to her philosophy. Well, this is not my philosophy, hun. This is the facts. And the the better that you take a get a grip on this, you don't take control, but you, you get a grip on this, that you don't control things and you surrender your mind to things, rather, how it really is. And then you'll get better with experiencing things in life because otherwise you will have terrible experiences of things in life. Terrible. And where people get stuck a lot, and a lot of narcissists are stuck on this, is death. Death. Ah, oh, because he died! I am, and you'll hear about that death part. Uh, you know, I am, I am torn apart. You won't hear about how. Well, why, why do you miss them? Did you know that you're not supposed to mourn? I mean, who, they don't um, want you to mourn for them. You have a whole life there. What is? You'll hear nothing about the goodness of that person. What the problem is is they can't control anything. I'm all over the charts. Let me talk to you about my Pluto. Why I'm all over the charts. Everybody in humanity is experiencing this Pluto Capricorn rubber band snap kind of a thing. It's now at 28 degrees. It's going to move into Aquarius, babes. Talk about the Aquarius age. Everybody's, ha oh, ha ha, the Aquarius age. Nah, picking their nose at it. And it's like, mm. you watch how that people are going to get more and more awakened. It's the trippiest thing. So you want to be on the side where. We know, we know, we've always known what Aquarius says is I know. And this is the knowledge that is the truth that creates all creation. Talking about how that shit works, like the platonic solids and, and the science of electricity. Like, is it really all electricity? Yes. Is it technology? Yeah. And is there anything random happening? No. Is it higher intelligence? Hell yes. Is it written down? Yeah. Do we already know? Yes. Is it hidden? Yes. All kinds of things. It's just boom, boom, boom. And, and some people are being downloaded to where they just like, it's time to know. And and um, you're only um, touching base with other, base with other people who have had ex the same opening experience, at the same time, babes, there is a fight against you knowing the things that already no are already known. And the, <laughs> good God, have mercy, um, to know what what is really going on about, what I'm talking about, like to know, like Aquarius knows, is also involving, it's your third eye, babes, coming through. Um, your human beings are, are connected electrically, trippy fucking way is going on, it's interdimensional, the, the real information, it doesn't really come in through the five senses kind of a thing, that's kind of a be careful of the deceiver of all that uses, actually through your, it's through your mind, get into it, talk about it, thanks for listening to these videos, and like I said, um, the Pluto Rubber band snap that, um, you know, astrology is the only real science. And this thing, I have a Mercury conjunct Uranus at 28, 26, 28, Uranus Mercury. And I warned people, you know, I was doing fine, but I was like, oh my God, Pluto, the destroyer is going to 
blindside me, my mind and, and things and things are, it's about the world, the worldly. And, and it's like, I'm not the only one here, people. Let me include humanity on this again, because I can guarantee you I didn't change. I am still humanity. I still claim to be humanity. I can't afford to be anything more or less than humanity. Being struck by these ads, it's like, boom, there's an ad. How does this get here? I have to remember to turn off my Wi-Fi to make these videos so that my server doesn't give me these ads. It's a pain in the bungo, babes. And I never said that in my life. I'll just say pain in the butt or whatever. You know, I don't know. I'm, I have Mars. And so I have, I'm Mars ruled. So I admit I need some calming down. You know, I don't, you know, if you, right now I know that my partner is kind of on the feminine side and I've had the feminine cancer guy who's calm. He's, he knows how to talk to me. He, he, he digs my energy because I am just full of energy. That's all it is. It's all it is is energy. Do you need a massage girl? You know, you want something good to eat right now? You know, I, I like that vibe, you know, um, but other than that, I, I don't, I can't afford to, um, Hey, it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard being a Mars ruled person. Let's get back to the Mercury Uranus conjunction. They could not get this fucking thing done in three minutes. It's 11 minute fucking going on 12. And I swear to God, if I got on the guitar, I bet you all of you people would like that a lot better. You'll see how far I've gotten. I don't even know. I can't even, even rhyme. <laughs> but my communications is it's right with it that I'll have slight speech impediment come up every once in a while like I will just a tangle up a word it's like gosh oh should I be talking why not why not you know I've I'm into communications I've gone into Gemini I'm on the computer and there's things to relay I'll get back to you later um, I would love to just you know focus more on really I meditate a lot and it's because our lives as individuals are very intricate and it's not the same as everybody's. And this is now I'm getting into how I am a highly religious person that uh, like Jesus, whom when she died, that religion died. So she would say, eat and drink with me now. I'm here now. So don't miss me because you don't, just because I was here doesn't mean now you know everything that I am, even though when we start to to know the third eye thing talking about the aquarius um pouring down this knowledge is this just this the water bearer but it has nothing to do with water it's an air sign very mental to the point of you know i never talk about this on facebook yes yeah, but but yes reality is made of the mind it's god's mind I, I, I cut people off on Facebook. I say, excuse me, you can't talk about the ego unless you know there's two egos. You can't talk about the mind unless you know there's two minds. And how to, how to um, represent it in spelling, basically. Basically, you have to capitalize one and keep one in lowercase. Because there are two. There's God's mind, which, which is reality. And now the beautiful language will open up to you because we already have, we already know. We already know. Now is in the word no. And how are you going to know anything but what's happening now? Nobody can tell you the truth, Huns. You have to have an experience in the now about it, and then you begin. But the phenomenon is that people are stuffed in their minds about things. And, and, and the mind is fear. They are stuck in fear about things. The, okay, just um, a little pain here and then shock them and say, well, if it happens again, it may happen again. It could, it might. There's the if, may, might, could happen fucking crew that, that keeps everybody locked in. Like, oh, no, we won't. Well, just cut down all the trees because we don't want them to fall on us. You know, it's like, oh, my God, but when did they start falling on us? Never. Rarely. Babes.